Oh, we're back. Yeah, it's ice cream social time. Mm. Uh, Loren took out her sword and moved toward the giant doors. No, no, no. Do not storm the front. They'll be expecting that. We are stronger, and it is the easiest way. Under what condition? How do you know? We have no idea who's here. Yeah, why not? There isn't a fight too difficult for me. Somewhere in the back of the party, Mesfit is quietly like, Bitch. Have you ever even met a vampire? Let, let's not be foolhardy. They have dark magic on their side. That was a dig. Did you catch that? It's... Saren, what do you think? Uh, let's find another way. Yeah, I believe Saren's is really a bad idea. Just go in the back door. <clears throat> Vampires are too strong and too clever for us to play that. For us to play by their own game, we need to play by our rules. And we find another way inside. What's your figure? I remember. My mother spoke of a secret passageway. Perhaps there is one on the perimeter. I'll begin scouting. They all carefully approached the castle and inspected the exterior for hidden doors. They found a cellar door, and with a quick, quick bash of Ramus's axe, the lock was history. A cellar door opened with a dusty creak. I do not know where this leads, or what will be down there. Everyone should be re should remain vigilant. We should have checked the level on those gargoyles. Mm. The walked down into the end. <laughs> hmm. This looks decidedly more Egyptian than I had expected. Also, more much more like a room than a cave in my like room yes. versus cave experiences. Yeah, the group found themselves in much more of a room than a cave. This must be the passageway of the catacombs under Namar. Arguably, this is the catacombs! Can we get to the castle from here? I'm certain of it. I suspect the caves form a labyrinth of twists and turns that will be infested with the undead! I wish I could consider splitting up into two parties! A double our chances of finding a way to the castle. I attempt to use my divination to show us the path. So I'll lead a group. And I will use my own powers to lead the second group. Very well. I will lead one of the two teams. Notice, uh, while Saren will lead the, lead the other. Notice that neither of you are the leaders. Saren, decide who will join you. I trust your decision. We'll pick them like baseball. Oh, so Saren and one person. Uh, well then, I we're going to go with Mirth, and we're going to have an awesome time, and we're going to stick Loren with a Palma show, and they will just sit there and hate each other. Nice. I'll select the. We're also going to send Ray with the other one just to piss him off. All right. So. Uh, so no, this is two power packed. We need yeah. to. Um. We can ditch Kambara to the other crew. Uh, yeah, it does... Yeah. Um, or we could give them... Like, so Kambara's powers only affect a row at a time. And I believe so do Apollo shows. So do we want to give them Draco instead? Sure. Yeah. I don't know, we'll take Mesfit. Yep. Then they will end up with Loren, who can kill things really well. Yeah, Dora seems fine. Yeah. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, because Dora is basically useless. Uh, and then that party... No, Dora's be... got the uh, the AoE now. Oh, sweet. She's got the Hail of Arrows. Yeah, but does she do actual damage? Yeah. Okay. And then we give her get... a new bow, too. Yeah, then they've got Souser and... Uh... We can bring Trouble along, too. And Trouble. So maybe not Souser. Maybe uh, Axie McAxer... McAxerton and Trouble. Yeah. Uh, and then... Yep, yep, that seems great. 
The group split and took opposing tunnels to find a hidden passage into the castle. And, and then, walked deep and into the catacombs. It seems actually in sort of opposition to my like thought that maybe we shouldn't use the front door. Because now we're like divided. <laughs> A small hole appeared on one side of the tunnel. Peering into it, it revealed another passageway on the other side. Thanks. That was an important thing to add to this game. God. I feel like it's added great depth. Do you remember being a GM and running dungeons like that? Where you're like, the passageway extends 30 feet onward. No, I, I never did that. Like, sometimes I just draw it. but Into a T intersection. Mm. That's old school D&D, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's, that's how it worked. I wonder where this goes. My senses tell me it's important. I can check easy peasy. Oh, and you get little scenes depending on who you bring. Oh, nice. She slipped into the hole without trouble. The party heard her tumble down off her feet. Whoa, oops. There's a big drop here, but otherwise it's totally fine. Meanwhile, down at the bottom of the hole, there's a, there's a vampire that's just like, tell them it's totally fine. Oh, look, I see a torch over the, on the wall. I think you guys should come and check this out. One by one, they pried themselves through the crevice to join her. This torch looks like someone's been here. We're getting close. I felt the escape of their catacomb the, uh, from the catacombs was near, but crunching sounds stopped them in their tracks. <clears throat> Shall we go any further? There's likely a monster to Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go see if we die horribly. Yeah. We should have saved. Saren crept forward and shined the light ahead. And revealed zombies pawing in a doorway of some sort. They're trying to get in a doorway. If they sense food on the other side, that means it could lead to the castle. The zombie stopped and looked over at Saren and the party. They abandoned the door and shambled forward. I like that the one doesn't have arms. Alright, Saren. That's fit. I don't know why it made us do that. Well, you know, make sure they're in the right place. Mm, I suppose. All right, what level? Level twelve. Okay, so this, this we're we're about on par for this DLC. Okay. Yeah, hell of errors. Oh, yeah. that does not do a lot. Of I damage. didn't think it did much damage. Yeah. Like it does as much damage as the normal shot, so we should use it because it does does do damage. Yeah. But yeah, we're not very good at it. Um, Saren. Why don't you just take that guy down and peg uh, Murr? Why don't you make them even slower? Uh, can we do more damage than 40? Uh, probably with air. Uh, so, dark magic, they're resistant to. What's her other one? Water. Oh, yeah. That's better. Yep, that helps. And now, get angry. Transform! Demon form! You just like lay into them. That dude does a ton of damage now, too. And they're all poisoned. Great. 10 hit points of damage a turn, though, so that's good. Remember that. So punch the 144. Yeah. Uh, Dora. Oh, he's got uh, conditions. You can do other things, like backstab, which might. Hitting shot, 72 to 83. Dex to uh, sneak attack, 69 to 80. Um, you probably can't be scared, can you? No, I wouldn't have so. Yeah, the pinning shot? Uh, what was that dude in The pinning shot paralyzing. Oh, paralyzing, oh, great. Uh, I did not paralyze him. Yeah, he was resistant to it, but still. Um, I guess just kill this guy. Alright, so here we are. He's probably just going to completely... Yeah, 100 damage. What, what's his normal attack? Oh, yeah. Uh, more. Yeah. Because, yeah, he's not hurt. And then, like, so consuming doesn't do much. There we go. Yay! Yay. I didn't think I had it in me. Oh, Dora gained a level. Hmm, good for you, Dora. With the zombies dead, they now had access to the door. Hooray! 
It was just a stray door frame in the middle of another tunnel, but the zombie's interest in it was more than enough reason to investigate. A sound of water could be heard from an intersecting pathway. The ocean? Oh, sincerely, whoop, no it. Sure. Sure. Against his better judgment, Saren decided that they should at least inspect where the sound was coming from. They walked I, into I didn't room. know this was against my better judgment. Why? Yeah. Wait. That's a piece of information I would have liked to know before. Why do I think this is a bad idea? They walked into a man-made room and saw water leaking from the ceiling. It was coming from a grate cut into the stone. Not the ocean. Sewage. Ow, Icky. We're not going inside that grate, are we? This is a good find, however bad it smells. We know we're near the interior of the castle. They found a passage that led in the direction of where the water was coming from, and they knew they were getting closer to their escape. Their combined skills brought them success. They had successfully navigated the Namar catacombs and wound up at what can only be a direct entrance to the castle. Look, we've discovered a we. This will definitely take us inside the castle. Don't know what to expect once we're inside, though. We are... Here we are. Time to face the vampires at last. I mean, at last. It's been like an hour. I use telepathy to notify a polymer show that we've located the exit. Saren nodded and stepped up the ladder, but suddenly something caught his attention. They traveled with the aid of their magic to light the way. The tunnel expanded and poured out into an eerie room. Bones and the remnants of dark rituals were scattered around. Oh, now we're cutting to a palm show. This evil place! We should have been very near an entrance into the castle. We're not lost! And don't use the passive voice! Or oh, very far. Everyone jumped from hearing the eerie voice. They saw no one. Come out, whoever you are. A raven swooped down from the ceiling and landed on a rotting table in front of them. Ren watched the bird with much coffin. Coffin? Caution? Another shapeshifter. A raven. How cliche. How are you in both places, Kambara? Oh, because everyone, I guess, is gathered together now. Oh, right. Are you friend or fool? The raven only sat on the table, looking around the room with no discretion. Which is a sentence that I just said. That's the thing you just read out loud. That's a, Loren slowly approached it with her hands on her swords. Kill it while it's in a weak form. I ask that you do not. It was eerie. I don't. I don't know. Oh, here we are. Oh. Yeah, no, that's definitely an old woman voice. Um, you want to? I'm already using my old person voice. All right. All right. Yeah. The same voice from before was now behind them. They turned to see a very old woman leaning against the staff, as if it was as if it were the only thing keeping her standing. Also, I mean that skull. He you is are. my dearest companion. Who are you? Do you have our Amazon sisters? Why woman. are you wearing a noose as a belt? The old woman smiled, revealing she had no teeth. I am friend, not foe. Those that can speak sometimes call me Mother Mort. I have no Amazons in my collection. They are not with me. They looked around the room and realized that she considered the piles of bones to be hers. So, you're like one of those types of reclusive old ladies. The creepy kind. Necromancer. Dude, creepy is like a total understatement. The old woman laughed a dry laugh as if dust would billow from her. I am proud of my work. Listen to me for long enough, and you will see its beauty too. Why should we give an ear to someone who plays with dark magic? We should strike you down! Kamara crossed her arms and rolled her eyes. Dark. Yes, I've heard the term before. Dark. Yes, they call this dark magic. Uh, she, she's gone senile. Can we just kill her now? Your respect for your elders. It's just staggering. Yeah, like, is that it's his... Off the, the, it's, it's off the fucking charts. Like, is that his reaction to senility? It's murder? <laughs> she's a born witch. 
She's not worth any respect. Your mom's a bone witch. You may regret slaying me. I predict you'll regret it very much. Everyone looked at each other. <clears throat> Loren stepped forward. I've never killed anyone and regretted it. <laughs> do you know where my people are? Can you get us there? I do. I can. But I speak of something much greater. You are losing your grip upon the world above. The kings of other realms have come to claim it. It will be theirs if you let them. Kings of other realms? Do you speak of the Death Knights? Thank you, Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman, for inventing Death Knights. Mother Mort smiled and wheezed. What names, this company tells me, it is almost as amusing as my own name. Yes, your Death Knights. There is more than you know. More? There are more Death Knights in Erevorn? I'd never heard no. of them. No! Yeah, we talked this about them moment. briefly. Oh, um, okay. They've come up, <clears throat> um, yeah, like, in, in passing. Alright. They gasped, but went silent. One Death Knight was enough to bring their entire world to ruin, but another? Oh, is uh... Boss is not a Death Knight. Okay. Though. How could we have not known? You're mistaken. We have omniscient-like knowledge. He is a child king. He is fresh and new. But do not underestimate him. He will take as easily as the king in Everburn. You are a monk from the mountain, yes? She wagged her finger at Souser. You let this happen. Sure. You beings are your own worst enemy. You think the creatures of the dark are your culprits for all world problems. Oh, Dude, cultists, hear, hear this woman. I don't know why I said that. I cannot believe this. Cultists have undone hundreds of years of work to keep the Death Knight sealed away. They've in invited their own destruction! You are I will never get tired of doing that. To see the world from the eyes below, you see why I trust two bones and not... Flesh. Flesh is the true evil. Quiet, Necromancer. Loren was demanding, but a small shake of her sword arm revealed that an, the idea of another Death Knight in the world scared her. What else do you know of this Death Knight? I can send the king home. He'll go on his way and disappear in this world. We'll be none the wiser. But how? I mean, hell, we're... Oh, so Fosty is a Death Knight. All right. We're building a huge goddamn army just for one of them. You will not need an army for this king. He struggles to find allies in the wastes and will find little. The other king has already reaped that field. Reaped is not a word that I would use in that sense. <laughs> you need my knowledge of his home to send him there. I can bend death to your advantage. How can we trust you? What do you gain from all of this? You and it for cool buddies. We're kindred, but the kings must always be feared. They're blind, and will attack all. But it is good for me that some can still tell friend from foe. Mother Mort smiled at Loren. We need each other to defeat him, I think. You won't be able to defeat him on your own. What are your terms? 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 The death of the king. What other terms are there? What's the catch? You are very peculiar people. You must want something. Tell us now. Very well, my dear Raven, this company is so taxing. When you have killed the king, he will give you a gift. I will require it. What kind of gift? What if he doesn't give us one? I have always wanted a pony. You will bestow something very powerful on you, I promise, if you follow my specific instructions. In return for the gift, I will give you command of my companions to take down the king in Everburn, along with the safety of your world. So now that you have your frivolous terms, do you accept them? 
Huh. Yeah. I mean, it seems she's been nothing but polite. So, murder... It's never stopped this kid from killing anyone before. Yeah, no. Um... It seems more interesting to accept her terms. Hmm. Oh, she had a romance option. <laughs> if you can help us to defeat the roaming death knight, we will work with you obediently. The living may not be such bad company after all. Find and kill the death knight that is hiding in the orcish waits for Mother Morn. Now that you're our friend, the undead won't attack us anymore, right? All the ones under my command. Very well, I will tell them not to bother you. And the others? I'm not responsible for every walking corpse in the realm. You must still fend for yourselves in the wilderness. But you have more than enough travel. Travelers with you. You should let a zombie win a fight or two. They're usually quite hungry, and it's only polite. Uh, no. Oh, thank you. You've accepted. Now tell us everything you know. Please, more exposition. Your death knight is hiding in the land of the orcs. His summoners seek to please him, but they won't. Go to the city of the orcs. They will take you to him. When you are near to the king, call upon me, and I will guide you. Act quickly and move to kill. He'll know in your eyes what you plan to do. You have a master of truth with you. You'll be perfect in sending this king home. Jaw? You are friends with many on the other side. You know the realm intimately. Like, sure. You know what the king is and what must be done. Oh, no. You'll find you won't have a choice, but don't fear. You will be pleased. Very pleased I will give the king's gift to you. Sazer unfolded his arms and stared blankly at the old woman. Very pleased you'll be. And if we don't call upon you, what if we decide to kill the Death Knight on our own? I would enjoy watching you try. I'm sure it would be very amusing indeed. Mother Mort cackled. We are done here. Show us the way into the castle. The necromancer weighed Lorenz's threat and decided it was worth submitting to. My legs are not what they used to be, but if I must. This is like the worst kind of NPC. Just like the endlessly smug NPC. Mm. Oh, you think you know what's happening. You think you know that things... I am I am intimately aware with mm -hmm. the incessantly smug NPC. Mm -hmm. They have their own uses, but... Uh, you'll find my fallen friends above. They are not very kind to trespassers, but I'm sure that's no concern of yours. Lorenz said nothing and pushed past the old woman. Corinne was close behind. Their Amazon sisters could not wait any longer. Isn't this the shot from the inn in Shh. town? It's like <clears throat> modular design. Saren stepped into the contractors. dusty castle interior. Everything looked as if it hadn't been touched in ages. But the house clearly looked lived in from the outside. Quiet your voices. They walked through the rooms as silently as they could scanning for any sign of the captured Amazons. After searching everywhere, they were left with the high tower. Entering the tower, they could only ascend a staircase. They climbed up and up. At the top, they ran into a furnished room. That is a heck of a room for the top of a tall tower. You are a persistent bunch. Who? From the chair rose a dapper man. In his pale skin, they could easily recognize him as a vampire. Yes, that is how we know he is a vampire. I am Zachary Namal, Lord of Castle. You, no, no, that's that's a Kambara accent. It is. It is. Um, I got it. I got it. I got this. You got yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, sure. Hey, I'm Zachary Namal, Lord of this castle. You really come a long way, but you're still utterly uninvited. I'd ask you to leave, but as it is, you won't be leaving. I'm sorry, only not. You have our sisters captive. We've come to free them and to send them back and to send you back to your grave. Amazons. Pfft. Cruel bunch you are. You die. <laughs> Loren took out her sword, but the vampire just shook his finger at her. 
Kill me and you never find your friends. Release them now. Mm, no. We're in jerk forward, but Saren rushed up instead. Why not? <laughs> Why did you capture them in the first place? They disturbed their solitude. Their invasive snooping was super rude. So they get punished. That's what happens here in Zachary's castle of Noir. You haven't killed them yet, so you must have something in mind for them. I'm a vampire. I make more vampires. Well done. Yes, you're very smart. I like you. Zachary began to pace. As much as I enjoy my solitude here, I'm unfortunately bound to this castle. I can't leave it, nor can my wife Valerie. Who's super nice. She's down at the store right now, but as soon as she gets back, all of you are dead. Uh, anyway, it's a 300th anniversary soon, and, and basic gifts just ain't gonna cut it, so you're trying my patience. What, what's the rush here? Come on. Our sisters, where are they? They're safe, but hidden, alright? What did you plan on using them for? 300th anniversary <laughs> gift. I'm a vampire. You fucking do the math. His gifts for my dearest love, Valerie. Oh my God, 250th was monster trucks. We went and saw my. We brought him into the castle. It was uh, the, the the grave digger favorite. My favorite monster truck, hands down. Amazons are not gifts. If you want your friends back, then you get me something better, something that Valerie will cherish for like thousands of years. Come on. Slaves are gifts. Give me. A Few minutes. Give me five minutes, yeah. We've got lots of them and they have basically no value as people. That sounds like a deal we'll be interested in accepting. What? That is profoundly out of character for him. Yeah. Like, is he bluffing? As long as we're not trading lives for more lives. They're not lives. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll let you have your sacredness of life if you want it. I just want something material, something that lasts, something that's, that's... Talk to me about Master Trucks. Spit it out, vampire. Uh, yeah, I, I think she'd appreciate some kind of, you know, some kind of gem. You all got dwarves, right? You know what I'm talking about. A diamond, unlike any other. A precious stone? The best are found in the dwarven mines. Yeah, I want the highest quality diamond you can muster from the Hammer Time Mines. Well, hell, nobody just gets to walk into a dwarven mine and pick out their best goddamn rock. You're asking a lot here. Hey, listen, it's, if your friends' lives ain't a big deal, that ain't a big deal to me. It's no problem. We both walk away. We cannot find our sisters. We must do as he says. Has anybody thought about just killing him? He's our only hope for their release. Why can't we just kill him? She looked at Saren for advice. I mean... Well, he said we'd never find them, and... Quest? Like, who doesn't love a good fetch quest? Me, really, like, why? why? Also me. Should we just kill him? I mean... I'm curious as to what the game will do. Can we just, can we save and find out? Yeah, there's the face up there. Save. Sarah moved in close to her and gave her signaling looks. Loren finally understood his meaning, and the fire in her eyes showed that she approved. They simul. Let's just not talk about that word. Simultaneously pulled out their weapons and bound right for the vampire. Boss fight, Zachary Namor. Alright, uh, so maybe not dark magic. Dora, Kamara, you're out. Apollo Michaud, and... Um... Uh, also, Loren. Loren. Oh, yeah. We have to bring in Loren. Even if we don't, she's really good at stabbing things. <clears throat> uh, yeah. He's level 12 and has 369 hit points. And he's weak to fire. This fight is over. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess. If you just wanna... Yeah, we'll just... Well, that... Okay, so he's resistant. He's resistant to normal damage. Okay, fine. Yeah, whatever. Uh... Buffity buff buff. Uh, mirth. Slow everybody down. Slow everybody down. 
That, yep, that was a good job there. Yup. Yup. Earth damage. Uh, Paralysis or... doesn't work on bosses. Right, but we could paralyze the back row. Hmm. So we just do... Oh, they've only got 58 hit points. Let's just kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that they're just gonna die. There we go. Okay. So they never got to go, which is great. Um... Oh, he drained my health. Oh, no. Oh, poor Paul Michaud. Yay! Yay! Zachary's Wedding Ring. Plus 5 attack, HP re regen, plus 10 damage. Alright, seems fine. I was expecting that to be a lot harder. Zachary sprang backwards with ah. a hiss. He was wounded, but still fighting. A red-haired vampire burst into the room. My love, no! That was perfect. I like that he's just married to Jerry Lewis. She flashed her fangs at the party while helping her husband stand back up. I cannot abide rude guests! Boss fight, family Namar. Right, is everybody fine? No, no, no. They saw their. Uh, yeah, Paul Michaud, you're out. Uh, Kambara then? Mm, yeah. She's the only one that does. Part of me's like Chompy. Chompy, but, Ch but Chompy doesn't have back row power. No, we put him in the front row instead of Amokiki. And then, still, who goes in the back row? Um, probably, yeah, probably Kambara or Dora. Or Ray, actually. Ray would probably do these. Is he actually, like, damaged? No, he's got the sneaky attack stuff, that's right. Like, Kambara, her dark magic won't work, but her other magic will. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, let's do it. It's just a solid party. Alright. Alright, so now we have a lot more people. Um, do we wanna, so Sarah, do you wanna heal somebody right off, like yourself? Because you're not useful for hurting people. Yeah, let's get a quick... Or we can also do an SP recovery, but we don't need it yet. Um, neutralize. Resurrect. I should do, like, a little one. Ooh! Okay, yeah, uh, defend. Or buff, buff. Yep. Rally, 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 rally. Slow, everybody. Yep. Slow, 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 slow. Oh, Literally thank everyone. you. Be brilliant. Kamara, now, what have you got? What do you got that... Um, soul Rot and Water. Water, water seems, seems pretty good. Water back road. She might be able to actually kill... No, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those guys nearly die. That is a beautiful thing. Rico? Rico, make everything uh, very unhappy to be alive. Yep. Dead, dead. Wow, I don't think he's getting really uh, well. Yeah, does he want to... Do we want to defend front row? We want a steel ball? Yeah. It's quick, right? Yeah. And Loren... Um, can't kill her. That's too bad. I don't know. It's like a train, though. You probably didn't think I wanted yeah. zombies pretty yeah. bad. Knock down zombies. Um, I don't think he goes again. Knock down that zombie. Um, or take a potion. Take a potion. Yeah, that's... Except he, we don't have any good potions. That, no. Like, 58 points does not do a lot. I mean, just... It's not nothing. Yeah, like... It doubles probably, what he's got. Yeah, it probably keeps him up for another hit. And then Saren can throw a heal on him. Yeah, we should look at that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Loren, I guess the No, no, one. no, knock down that. Uh, who, because... Oh, that's Walking Dead B. It comes up next. Kambara will be will water no. that road. No, or do we get her to take out the back? Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. I totally should have. Um, yeah. She takes out the back row before Valerie gets to go again. 
Yeah. Yep. Draco is down, so the next time Saren goes, we gotta bring him back up. Brian, can you just kill this motherfucker? Nope. Nope. Um, but her with Kambara can. Oh, Kiki, make this man go away. Yay. Did we get his wedding ring again? I don't know. Valerie's necklace. Um, it's like a defense necklace. Oh, and Draco gained a level. And, okay, what's the next thing we want to give him? Ah, air, earth, defense. I guess air. Yeah. Um, yeah, just give him another element. Because mirth does earth, right? Yeah. The vampire lovers shrieked and collapsed on the floor together. Their bodies burned and turned to ash. Kill the vampires. Loren cleaned her blade of the vampires. We should have done that in the first place. How will we find the scouts now? I'm sure we'll locate them. I haven't searched the whole tower yet. There's something in the ash. It's a map to the scouts. Saren picked through Zachary's remains and found a key. It was hot to the touch, but he managed to pick it up. A key to the Amazon cells? They all immediately looked to the door on the other side of the room. It's <laughs> just a fucking door. <laughs> Where will we find them? In there. Inside the secret room was exactly what they wanted to find. They were now in, the, in a castle dungeon. Sisters. Yes, literally on the other side of the room. Several Amazons stirred. They blinked several times, not believing their eyes. Majesties? Hurry, open the lock. Saren stuck the key in the cell and flung open the door. The Amazons had difficulty moving, as if they'd been cooped up for too long, but finally they stood and saluted the royalty. Gnashing and wailing was heard back in the tower. Amukiki, Ray, and Loren ran to the door to close the barricade. The undead have caught our scent. I'd hoped they'd disappear along with the vampires, but apparently not. The door bounced as the undead on the other side attacked it. We will leave immediately! We are at a disadvantage being cornered here! How's it going, Rich? We're uh, killing vampires. But how? The only way out is up! Griffins! Then we will go up. To, to the top of the tower, go! But... Do as I say. They all ran up the stairs to the top of the tower as Corinne demanded. The undead broke down the door and chased after them, but they were very slow. We don't have much time. What now? A friend of the other Amazon scouts whistled into the night sky. Their whistling was overpowered by another cry. A flock of griffins were flying right for them. Uh, Commander Braza, she's well and coming to our rescue. <laughs> Braza led the griffins to the tower just as the undead clambered to the top. On the griffins, jump! With careful aim, each person leapt from the tower on the back of a passing griffin. Saren's heart stopped as the creature dove down and so it turned sharply upward like he'd seen them do many times from the ground. Narrating an aerial chase. It's, not, it's like why you don't find a lot of car chases in books. They swooped dramatically. Yeah, the whirling sensation of actually riding a griffin almost brought him to tears if he weren't so focused on clutching the beast's fur hanging on for his life. The castle of Lamar became only a speck in the distance. The griffins flew everyone back to the citadel in one piece. Every person had escaped safely. The Amazons greeted their arrival with cheering. Brazen and the other scouts were taken into care, and their rescuers were celebrated. Yay! Yay! Like a billion level ups. Alright, Wakiki. Oh, you get a skill point. Ray! Uh, I guess we get this one, because we're sure. trying to get our way up to, to shield, shield as three. good as possible, yeah. Mirth. Mirth gets a skill point too. So we can get her the group heal, but the group heal, we, we're not using we, Yeah, no. And so why don't we just go with the air? Because yeah. Draco doesn't do air. Or Draco's just, just starting, does, he, just he's starting, just starting yeah. to do air. Other options are water, which Draco already does, and fire, which Draco already does. Yeah, What what is the air? Air is uh, tired. Eh, seems great. Just Yeah, just crank up the air. 
Giving her a second good element seems like a good plan. Mara. Uh, similar problems. Uh, what do we got here? Air with a chance of causing weakness. Fire and earth. Uh, does anybody... So... We're not doubled up on earth yet. True. Or, and we're not doubled up on fire. Does it do how many people? A uh, row. Or all of her spells max out at a row of people. Okay. Uh, what about... Can, can we just make her better wizard? What is... Maximum spell points. Uh, haste, which increases the target speed. Spell point regeneration, which is an activated ability. Cure an ailment. Nah. Decrease threat. No. All of these are irrelevant. Yeah, no, okay, so... It's air, like... But then we got three air. Yeah, that's true. Earth, then? Yeah, earth or fire. 15 chance of causing shattered. Fire's probably pretty decent, right? Like, most, lots of things have been have been weak to fire. Yeah. Like, she'll never be as good as Reiko, but... I mean, that's fine. Uh, Moran. Moranus. Ren, finally, maybe, possibly good at things, but not good enough to come on adventures with us. Souser. He's got a skill point. Um, he just gets level 3 paralysis, yep, right? Yep, he does. And Trouble. Trouble maxes his fire. Oh, he, yeah, maxes his fire breath. Yeah, um, so, cool. Oh, somebody's got 50 will. Yeah, several people. The heroism demonstrated at Castle Namar would be passed on for generations by the Amazons and would be considered one of the defining acts of notoriety for Princess Loren to inherit the throne. Her actions would help restore the scouts and give them a chance to fully support the war against evil. Yay! So half that DLC, we just killed them. Mm. We didn't do their quest. We just killed them. Mm. Let's equip their stuff. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, camp? Yeah, I wondered. Yeah. Well, let's equip their stuff. Alright. Alright, so... It was, all, it was all pretty jewelry. We have a, a two-headed warhammer and a staff of the mountains that we haven't equipped either. So let's take a look at some of that jewelry. So this is like attack and defense, right? So we want to take a look at Amukiki. Already has some kind of... So... Less attack, less damage. But like a major plus defense. Okay, he is our he is our tank. All right. And we can pass that necklace on to somebody else. Yeah. And now let's look at Loren for just attack value. Because I think that ring is going to be good for her. I don't know that it is, because her rings are really good. Oh, it is, yeah. Wow. Like, yeah, it's a really good ring. All right, so is that necklace good for her? It is it's the, the same. same. It's the same as hers. All right, so let's check Saren. He doesn't have Saren a necklace. He can use a necklace. necklace of strength. Yep. Uh, and he has short a ring. And we have two rings. We have two Zachary's wedding rings. We did get... Okay, so uh, Loren should get both of those. Correct. Yeah, so now that she does... Now she does totally ludicrous amounts of damage. Uh, Saren was... Oh, he has the ring of speed. Mm. Um, I think I'd rather give him Mercenary's ring. And pass the other ring of speed to, like, uh, Draco? Draco? Oh, yeah, he's missing a ring. Sweet. Nice. Oh, also, we should check those staves. Um, yeah, nope. Nope. Uh, Kambara. Nope. Also, nope. Uh, Mirth. Also, no. Nope. Also, no. Um... Here's our next 
Paul Michaud, I guess. Yep. 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 There we go. That actually worked. Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, do you want to... Saving our game. Uh, yes. We, we didn't technically steal them. We took them from their corpses. Yeah. No. It was um, grave robbing, which... Saren's blade cut through the air once, twice. The third time it lanced forward into the gut of a foe who wasn't there. Saren had slain many invisible men already, but if he was going to get any better at combat, he would have to continue practicing. Even after the sun had set, the moon lit up the clearing where he practiced just enough to keep him going. He was determined to make Loren proud. This is our, right. like, love scene with Draco, right? Uh, nope. Oh, no. You will not get better if your enemies are in your mind. This is a love scene where with Emukiki, which means they hate each other. Uh, one of them nearly dies, and we get another heart. Yep. Seems about right. Saren sucked in a breath, not ready to deal with Emukiki this time. The last person he wanted watching him practice was him. And how do you train? I fight beasts and spar. That is the only way to improve. Your ways aren't the only ways. One of us is a better fighter. That's true. I'm not. There Saren are other ways. Saren chose to ignore him and swept the air out of spite. Woo! But his sword met metal instead. Emukiki had crossed blades with him. Saren flinched from the audacity. You dare match a warrior with a thief? What? I know better. Saren's throat tightened. That could be interpreted as a compliment. I could have hit you. You couldn't harm me. Is that a threat? I'm literally the party tank. It is a fact. Saren twisted his sword swiftly from Emukiki's and spun around to strike him directly. He parried effortlessly. Saren felt compelled to fight him and prove him wrong. Emukiki might have been a hero to the Empire, but he was just a man to him, one that he knew he could take on. He tried again and unleashed several powerful swings at the gladiator, but he deflected each blow with his shield. Saren growled. Is that all you could muster? At least I'm not hiding behind a shield. That's literally what shields are for. Yeah, that's... that's you Also, you totally have a shield. And Mukiki grew serious and raised his chin. He shook the shield from his arm and tossed it away without his eyes leaving him. The challenge was heard and answered. I'm glad that he still has his eyes. With Amukiki wide open, Saren took another go at him, unleashing the very moves he had just been practicing. One by one, Amukiki blocked the attacks. Then it was his turn by, to attack. Saren was caught off guard by his quick and heavy movements. Was this how it felt be, to be in the ring with him at the tournament? With Saren foot pushed sufficiently backward, Amukiki let up and basked in his speechlessness. Your lack of true sparring shows. I am a healer. I could train you. Saren quivered in rage, as if that were the greatest insult. You could learn a thing or two as well! Hmm. <laughs> Saren sprang forward to attack Amukiki, who had difficulty anticipating it. They sparred with each other briefly. With each swing that Amukiki parried, Saren grew more frustrated. How are you doing that? Oh, skill. Practice. Training. He smirked and caught Saren's blade with his own. Your eyes, they betray you. The revelation fueled Saren's furious attacks, but he took note. From then on, Saren focused only on Amukiki's face, hope hopefully masking his next move. The gladiator slammed his weight into the side of Saren's body, almost knocking him to the ground. He didn't want to admit that Amukiki was a better fighter. He was stronger, taller, had more experience, but... <laughs> was in every way a better fighter. But there was one thing Saren had on him. With the whirling of his wrist... Saren tangled Amukiki's weapon in his hand so that he would spontaneously let go of it. It worked, and Amukiki's sword was flung from his hands. Now it was the time for the gladiator to be speechless. Saren smirked with pride. You look surprised. Amukiki reevaluated him. That is the only time you will succeed with that, on me. Is that so? I don't I don't understand why where we gained this advantage. I don't either. Like, are we a judo master that we're not aware of? I don't know. We have a judo master. We could ask him. <laughs> he quickly picked up his sword and was ready to battle again, as if he were used to doing it from his fights in the arena. Saren felt confident enough to grant Amukiki his rematch. 
They did not speak again as they fought each other. They began to sweat and grunt as they threw everything into their attacks. They were both ready to win the duel, but steadily denied victory to each other. Even though Amokiki was a superior athlete, Saren held his own with him. In an attempt to end it, they crashed their blades together and leaned into them, creating a stalemate. It would only end if one overpowered the other. Which would very quickly happen, because <laughs> Mamukiki is a massive beast. Yeah. They call him the bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's not ironic. Not in the least. Sarah knew he couldn't beat Amukiki in a test of strength. Yet he was standing his ground, pushing against him with everything he had. It was as if the glare they were giving each other was anchored. what anchored him on the spot. The heat from Amukiki's face caused Saren to realize how close he was to him. A bead of sweat trickled from Amukiki's forehead. Now kiss. <laughs> Saren felt his arms ready to give out, so he did the only thing he could do. Magic burst from him, forcing Amukiki away. It worked, and he stumbled backward, allowing Saren's sword to swing free. Son, if you could do magic like that, we wouldn't hate having you in the party. Amukiki recovered as they stood apart. His breathing was deep as he reached up and felt his face. When he well, what did you what did you do to me? Technically, I cast resurrect on you, but it was a distraction. When he pulled his hand back, there was blood on his fingers. Saren had cut him. The gladiator locked eyes with Saren, and his jaw tightened. It immediately felt unfair that he'd invoked magic, no matter how good an idea it was at the time. But a word, Saren walked up to him and placed a hand over the cut on his face. Amukiki stiffened from being touched. Healing magic undid the damage that his offensive magic had just caused. You don't have any offensive magic! We couldn't even, like, put some in your talent tree. You didn't even have the option to be a wizard. Yeah, no, you, like, you're professionally useless. Saren could feel the gladiator staring at him, but couldn't meet his eyes. Sorry. It was all he could say. Saren turned around and sped away from the moonlit clearing, completely unsatisfied with how the sparring had ended. The look in Amukiki's eyes, the feel of him on his hand, lingered more than he wanted them to. Maxed out! Woo, yeah. Ooh, we have a fraught relationship with that man. But there are still... So again, let us assume that one of these is Loren and one of these is Karen, right? Yeah, so there's still mystery romance. With someone... We've got more uncomfortable workplace sexual harassment from Kambara. Oh! You know who I bet it is? I bet um, if you're a girl, you can romance Ray. Oh! Yeah, I would believe that. That would make sense. And maybe not Mirth? Maybe, like, there's a trade-off? Yeah. Maybe that, sound, that sounds like a trade-off that they would, they would make. All right, so we can do the other side of the Castle of Namar stuff, which is go to the Orcish Waste. Uh, yeah, sure. A crude city appeared in the distance. Wow, judgy. Yeah, super judgy. 